What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here and I am so excited to do today's review video for you. I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review of the Buff Bunny Collection launch happening August 22nd, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this launch, you guys, it is called the Boss Launch. I am so pumped for this launch because it not only is gonna bring you tons of different brand new workout pieces you've never seen before, but Buff Bunny Collection is also introducing some new items such as the Boss Blazer that I'm wearing right now and a couple other items I will showcase in a minute. But there's a lot of new stuff, things you've never seen before, a couple things you've seen before. So I'm gonna go through each and every piece I received. There are also some other items launching that I didn't receive. I'll mention those at the end as well, but we have a lot to go through, so I don't wanna ramble too long like I often do. But a couple things that I wanna mention. Number one is that I always do a live here on YouTube the day of the launch, one hour before for the launch. So for me, that's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be here on YouTube answering any questions you guys have. I like doing that because this final week, there's always more details I find out as an athlete. I'll find out pricing, I'll find out other little tips and tricks and things you guys may need to know that'll just make your shopping experience a lot easier, less stressful, smooth sailing, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I will be here, make sure you guys set your calendar to join me one hour before the launch. I will also be doing a giveaway this launch. I'm gonna host that over on my Instagram, which is Kara Corey Fit Life. So take a moment, pause the video, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because not only am I gonna do a giveaway for more than one person over there, but I also do answer a lot of questions over there. Um, that's probably where I'm most active in my DMs if you guys have questions about particular pieces and things like that. So that's a great place where I do share a lot of details leading up to the launch as I learn them. And lastly, if you guys like me, if you like Buff Bunny, if you like fitness and fashion, and you do plan on shopping the launch, then be sure when you are shopping, you can enter in discount code Kara, or there's also a section for your support code for your favorite athlete or what have you. You guys using code Kara does not give you a discount. It does earn me a small commission, but more importantly than that, I always like to mention, it's what makes sure I can keep working with Buff Bunny Collection. So it just kind of shows the team that you guys appreciate what I, I do and that you really enjoy these reviews so that hopefully I can work with them for a really long time. And one final note, if you are new here, then welcome to the channel. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, stick around for a while. You can hit that post notification bell. I am typically here one to two times a week to hang out with you guys for all things fitness, lifestyle, and fashion. And with that said, let's jump into this review. I will put my current measurements down in the description box below. They haven't really changed from other reviews I've done recently. You will find that I'm mostly an extra small and a size small in all Buff Bunny collection items for a reference. There's also a great sizing chart on their website if you have questions as well. And throughout the review, I will mention if items are true to size or if I think you need to size up or size down. Grab a snack, grab a drink. It's gonna be a long one. Let's jump on in. The first set we're gonna talk about is, I'm gonna talk about it separately too, but it's basically a set. We have the supply and demand. So we've got the supply top and then we have the demand leggings. So I received these in the color glow up, which is this very pretty like pastel yellow, not something I always wear, but I was super drawn to it and I love this color. I want some more pieces in this color. So moving into the top itself, the supply top, I really enjoy this because it's a bit of like a crop top and sports bra at the same time, which is my favorite. I love it when I kind of don't have to think about pairing a sports bra with a tank top over it. This kind of meets the best of both worlds. So I'm wearing this in a size extra small. I think if they offered a double XL, 
I probably could have even sized down quite honestly, but this is gonna be available in an extra small to a triple XL, which honestly guys, pretty much all the pieces I'm gonna talk about today are gonna have available either double XL all the way up to triple XL. Now I always like to caution you guys that the larger sizes do tend to sell out first. And I know people get really upset when things sell out quickly, but that is why I usually try to help prepare you guys. And if you are able to shop as soon as things launch, that is just your best bet if you are able to, to try to ensure that you can get what you like. I love this top. It's a really cute V-neck top with a really cute little scooped down back and just like the little tiny buff bunny emblem there. What really makes this so special and different is the material on this guy. So it is a combination of, and you will see me looking down a couple times. I do have notes in front of me just because it's so much to go through. But this is a combination of space spandex and nylon so nice stretchy material but it's like this ribbed material it's like a very um, textured ribbed feeling just very very different for buff bunny and i really really like the ribbed to it i don't know that texture just adds a little something different to it now a lot of you guys ask me is this just a lifestyle outfit or can it be worn to work out I've done both in it. This I trained in the full outfit. I had no issues with it. The sleeves on this, this is where I could size down if they had a smaller size. They do kind of sit a little far out on my shoulder where it almost feels like it's gonna like fall down on me, but it actually never did. And I wore this for an upper body workout day. So that was perfect. Um, but it's just a really great little matching set. So getting into the leggings, same exact material with that textured print to them all the way down. They're just really like the quality on these. They're very, very thick feeling, but not heavy. Don't confuse that with like heaviness or making you really, really hot. Cause I actually wore these outside. Jay and I went to a sunflower field and it was like 95 degrees out. And I wore this little outfit. It was perfect. Um, and I actually wasn't overly hot in it. It felt very sweat wicking, very breathable, but so super comfortable. These leggings were a size small as well. So much stretch in these. I probably could go down into an extra small in these pants. Although I will say for the most part, both pieces, true to size you guys, but if you want these to fit just a little bit tighter, you could size down, um, but true to size for the most part. Lots of stretch to them. They're not a compression pant, but they do just kind of like hug you nicely, not overly tight where it hurts or anything like that or pinches anything. Just a really great comfortable pant can be worn for lifestyle or working out. Also just commenting on the fact that it's a lighter color. I did not find that these were see-through um, when I was doing a squat test. No camel toe that I could see in these pants. And overall, these were just, a, these were a really great surprise for this launch. You will also be able to purchase these in the color Equality, which is like a maroon color, and then the color Onyx, which is black. So you'll have three options there for the supply top and the demand leggings. The next items we're gonna review are a return favorite of mine, which I'm currently wearing right now underneath my blazer. This is the Revolution Sports Bra. If you guys remember, this was hands down my favorite Buff Bunny collection bra to date. Um, I'm wearing it in the Bossy print, which is a brand new print. Um, I think it reads okay on camera, but it's just black with little white polka dots on it. But what I love about the Revolution bra is that number one, it's the Nubri fabric. So it's the soft buttery fabric, which is my favorite for a sports bra because I truly forget I'm wearing a sports bra when I have this fabric. I f truly forget that I'm even wearing a sports bra when I'm wearing something made in this fabric because it's that buttery, naked, smooth kind of feeling. Uh, I also love this sports bra because I just find that that square neckline detailing is so beautiful and just 
really flattering. I don't know what, I just, I like my clavicle area and I just feel like it's very flattering, very pretty. And then on the back side, it's got the beautiful strappy detailing and still very high support. Sometimes you look at a ton of straps and you think, oh no, that's not gonna be high support. This is hands down definitely a high support sports bra. I wear this in a size small, and although I do wear a lot of their tops or sports bras in an extra small from Buff Bunny, this is one that I would not recommend sizing down on. I wear a size small in this, and I do kind of have a little bit bigger lats for being smaller chested. Um, and if I feel like if I size down, I would get a lot of like fat spillage, if you will, like with all the strappiness. So I would say this is true to size. And if you're between sizes, I would go up, not down on this guy. The Revolution Sports Bra is coming back in the bossy print, the color Excel, which is a really like pretty pastel green. We've got it coming out in business blue and then onyx, which is black. Paired with that, I am wearing the brand new Legacy Leggings. So these leggings are made of the Nubri fabric. So if you guys have worn Rosa's before or the Rosa Pocket Leggings, these are the same exact fabric, so they are a very soft, creamy, a naked feel type pant. High waisted, no camel toe in these guys, really, really pretty. What makes these different being the legacy leggings, you're gonna see there's a lot of different seaming, uh, differences with the seaming on these. So on the back side of the leggings, it's just like a really pretty pattern that just kind of like draws, it like draws up the glutes a bit. It lifts those tush cheeks up to the sky, which we can all use a little additional lift back there if you know what I'm saying. So you've got the really pretty detailing back there, which is just really different. I've never seen that on a legging before. And then the other difference too, um, there is no front seam. So a lot of people don't like it when that front seam kind of comes straight down to the cooch. That is not there, which is nice. Sometimes that front seam can be what lends itself to camel toe. So with no front seam there, you don't have to worry about it. And then the only other detail difference is the seaming on the side of the leggings. So you've got the seam that comes down the side and then it kind of splits on your lower half of your leg into two separate seams. So it's just like a minor little differencing with detailing that kind of give the legging a little bit of a different look when you wear them. So as I mentioned, the Revolution bra, I wear in a size small, prefer that. I am wearing the Legacy leggings in a size extra small. I probably could size up to a size small, but sometimes what happens there for me with leggings, if I size up, there'll be a little extra fabric in the stomach. So the extra small for me is perfect. I don't really have any extra fabric there. Um, the length of these is pretty, pretty good actually. There isn't really a lot of additional length in the leggings for myself. I am short at five foot one and three quarters of an inch. Um, so if you are taller, you may have more of like a seven, eight, seven eighth length situation going on with these. But honestly guys, if you love the Rosa leggings, you love the Newbury fabric, you're gonna wanna grab this set and plus the bossy print i don't something about it i feel like all the athletes pick this print because it's just so pretty and it's something different that you don't see very much so um this is one of my favorite sets you do have options in the legacy leggings as well to get um other colors they have one coming out called l woods which looks like kind of like a pink mauve color we've got the business blue and then onyx so four different colorways in the legacy leggings and actually i really kind of like how it looks with the blazer like this sports bra underneath i feel like you kind of wouldn't know i'm wearing workout clothes right now i almost feel like i could throw a heel on with this outfit walk out the door and be good to go to like a business meeting. Honestly, I think I'm gonna wear this sports bra to work next week. It's so comfortable. You would have no idea I'm wearing a sports bra. I love that. Love that for me. Another one of my favorite sets coming up for you guys. We have another return item, a return sports bra. This launched in the summer launch. This is the Maraschino sports bra, and this is the color Excel that I mentioned before. Um, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet, you get that? <laughs> 
You gotta love all the little like boss kind of names that go along with it. I have such an extra appreciation for this launch because I literally am a boss. Like I supervise a department. I have not a large department, but a large amount of responsibilities. And yeah, um, I do a lot in Excel. So that's just me nerding out for a second and relating to this launch in so many ways. But the Maraschino Sports Bra, I have reviewed this before my last Buff Bunny review if you wanna check it out there. But this is a really beautiful sports bra. I do wear this in a size small and I feel like that fits true to size. I would not need to size down on this. It's got that beautiful V-neck neckline. Is that how you say it? Um, and then in the back, a really just pretty kind of open cut detailing to show off a little bit of your back, keeps you nice and cool. And I mentioned before, I like this one because I feel like it is very high support for me, at least with my chest size. And it also just shows off the ladies, nice. And this color I love, especially with a fresh, I've got a little self tanner on, a little fresh self tanner. And this color just feels like summertime. And I know summertime's coming to an end, but I like having a few summer pieces still because I'm, I'm hoping the warm weather doesn't go away just yet, even though I'm gonna eat all things pumpkin. Nonetheless, I still like summer colors. So um, this sports bra, love that for me. And then paired with it are the brand new executive shorts, the executive pocket shorts. Okay, so I actually can show you guys these in two different sizes. I was lucky enough to get a few things in a couple sizes. So I got them in a size small and you'll also see them on me in a size medium, just to kind of give you guys a comparison if you are gonna size up or size down, how things will look a little bit different, fit and feel a little bit different. So it was really appreciative to be able to do this. So honestly, when I took these out of the package, I was like, yeah, there's no way these tiny shorts are gonna fit my quarantine booty. But honestly, I preferred the size small over the size medium. So let me take you through a little bit about the shorts, what makes them special. They are a polyester spandex blend, which I like because they're just super kind of silky smooth, very comfortable. Um, and lengthwise, ooh, I should measure the inseam for you guys. I forgot to do that. Let's do that right now. So measuring inseam, you measure from the crotch to the end of the short, and I am measuring a, yeah, I'm measuring a four inch inseam on these shorts. I wasn't sure if they were that long or not. Four inch inseam on those. And then we've got the waistband, nice high waisted waistband. So the length of these for me is perfect. I love a four inch inseam. I can do three inches. Anything above that gets way too short for me, especially for running. And I do actually prefer running and cycling, if you will, in shorts. So I was really excited to try these out. And they do have the pocket on the side. That's a nice deep pocket if you wanna put your phone in there. And the way their design's really cute. There's like this thicker seam that runs down the side of it against your pocket. And then that's kind of the seam that turns into the bottom of the short, if you will, the bottom seam of the short. I sometimes get weary when shorts do have that like thicker seam on the bottom because for myself, I feel like I do carry a little bit more fat in my, my upper quad thigh area. So it's not always as flattering, but honestly, they fit really good. I felt like these looked really good on me. I liked the fit of them. And I actually preferred how they did the seam on the bottom of these shorts because when I went for a run, they didn't ride up at all. Sometimes if you don't have anything there to add a little bit of tightness to it, they just ride up. And then you're pulling down, you're grabbing your cooch the entire run, you know, pulling your shorts out. These didn't do that at all, you guys. I went outside for like a five mile run, maybe touched them once and it was nothing aggressive or in your face whatsoever. So was very, very pleased with these in terms of running. And that's always kind of my test with shorts. If they can, if they can stand the test of me going outside, running in the summer heat, and they don't irritate me, then they is good to go. What I will say with this color in particular, I do not wear underwear, you know, to each their own, but I usually don't wear underwear under my leggings or shorts. And 
they are not sweat proof, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys a picture comparison, but so I self tan, right? So I look really great in this color and I had showered it, like two showers, had washed my self tanner off. But then I went out for this run in like the 90 degree weather, sweating my butt off. Um, yeah, I come back home and the shorts and the sports bra look like they are ruined. I have sweat my whole self tanner all through the sports bra. The shorts look almost like I bled through them because my tan was so dark and I was sweating profusely. And I'm like, that's it, I ruined them. But I share that with you guys because I sit here with them now looking brand new. All I did was spray them with a little bit of shout. I washed them. I always do like a cooler, gentler wash with my Buff Bunny collection items, let them air dry and they're literally brand new. So if you're worried about a lighter color in terms of being sweat proof, these really were not sweat proof. If that bothers you, maybe don't go with a lighter color, but I love the lighter color. If you're worried about ruining it because you're like myself and you use self tanner all the time, it looks a little embarrassing to have the self tanner on them, but it will wash out. So I was super pumped about that. That just shows the quality of the material in these. Now you guys will see me wearing the size medium. The size medium fit me too. I don't really have any complaints about that. It's not a vast difference, but what I will say is I did find for the most part there was a, a little bit more extra room in the stomach and they just didn't feel, I didn't think they looked as good on me. I didn't actually like having a bit more material. I'm usually someone that would rather have things be too big versus too tight when it comes to workout gear, but I didn't feel that way about the shorts. I really do feel like size small was perfect for me. And the medium, I think if I would have ran in these, I, I would have been fussing with them more because the fit wouldn't have been correct. And this could have been falling down a little bit on the top. So if you're looking for shorts, these are a great pair of shorts for working out. Um, true to size, you guys. And this color, hands down recommend this Excel color. This is stunning. You'll have a few different options there with your colors. This next set reminds me of fall and I love that. I love that. This one got me excited for fall. This is the confidential set. So I am wearing the confidential crop top and then I've got the confidential leggings here. And these are both in the color NDA which is more of like a, a deep burgundy color, which I think is why it reminds me of fall. Now, I'm not sure if the pattern itself will pick up enough on camera, but when you look at it, but there's kind of like a light camo pattern to the confidential outfit, which I really like because I, I love camo anything. So I really like that it's there, but it's also not too intense, you know? Like usually with camo, you've got a differentiation between two different colors, whereas this is just very slight, simple, minimal, but it's just that fine added detail that gives it a little something else. There will also be a confidential sports bra available too if you guys are interested. I did not get that for my review. So the confidential crop top, I am wearing this in a size small. And for both the crop top and the leggings, your fabric here is a combination of nylon and spandex. So it's a very kind of like silky smooth, flexible, very breathable, sweat wicking type material. You will not see sweat in this material, at least not in this color. Uh, thankfully, while this past week I've been reviewing all these items, it has been 90 degrees out. So anytime I could get outside and kind of take it for a run or, you know, get active outdoors to really put it to the test, you know, this material really held up. It felt very, very nice. What I love about the little crop top. I love crop tops like this. Number one, I like more items with sleeves, you know, for the days that I, number one, don't shave my hairy armpits. Um, but two, it's just nice as we are approaching the fall months. Um, I know for myself, sometimes I'm just self-conscious of my arms and I just kind of like to have a little more sleeve there. And what's nice about that is the material is, is stretchy where like sometimes when you have short sleeves like that, it can really like um, be a little too tight in your tricep area and just feel uncomfortable. This does not suffocate the tricep. So that was really, really nice. It was just 
really nice and comfortable and breathable. Really great little crop top. I actually feel like you could wear this not for a workout and probably pair it with like high-waisted shorts, high-waisted jeans, a little pair of sneakers, and like go out for your day, you know, and have a cute little outfit. So I always appreciate when items like this can be versatile and worn either in the gym or for regular life. The confidential leggings are also really cool. I don't think we've seen a legging like this yet from Buff Bunny, so I don't really have anything to compare it to for you, quite honestly. Uh, the material is the nylon spandex combo, and I will say probably out of all the leggings this launch, I feel like these are maybe the most compressive, if you will, and sweat wicking, like sweat proof, sweat wicking type material. So they're not like um, an Alpha Elite Revival compression or a Buff Bunny Goddess legging compression. They're not of that level where it's like, totally snatched? No. But it does add just like a light bit of compression. So it's kind of like a nice, nice feeling and just very, very comfortable. Not a lot of like other detailing going on to really comment on. You do have a front seam on those, um, but I don't know. It didn't bother me. I didn't feel like I had camel toe whatsoever in these leggings. These were great for really any kind of workout you wanna do performance wise because of that like sweat wicking ability with this material. I hands down am a little bit obsessed with this color. I picked out this set, but you guys will have some other options there. There's a color called Top Secret and a color called Classified. So there's also like a red and a blue color. I can't, I'm not sure which one's Top Secret and which one's Classified, but those are the two other color options in the set, so again, so much newness this launch you guys it's it's nuts we have a whole other new set for you i've got the resource bra and i have this in two different sizes i'm going to show you um, the differences in those sizes between an extra small and a small and then we have the brand new dreamy leggings so you guys went wild over these when i shared them on my igtv because it's basically uh similar similar look to the Rosa legging except without the front seam so apparently you guys were tired of having that front seam Heidi listened and she gave you guys some options without that front seam so that is one thing I love about Buff Bunny she you know the whole company listens to their customers so if there's things you like don't like want to see improved different they listen to you and they continue to adapt with each and every launch so feel free to share your feedback um, with the team or even with the athletes because they ask us for our feedback as well so these leggings are i pulled out let's go through the leggings first and i wanted to see upon first feel and inspection i thought maybe these were the same as the energy fabric or the rosa but they are not so the dreamy leggings are a combination of polyester and spandex. So when I compare that to the energy fabric, the energy fabric is nylon and spandex. And then the Rosa leggings, these are like the lightest of all three. These are a combination of nylon and spandex as well. Just a different ratio of nylon to spandex. So it's like the Rosa or Nubri feel like the lightest and then the energy fabric feels like a little more little more compression to them and then you get to your dreamy leggings and those have even more compression to them so it's kind of like a step up you go nubri energy fabric and then the dreamy leggings these just feel like they have a little bit more I don't know if compression's the right word or like thickness to them. They feel just like a little bit more snatched, a little bit more compressed when you put them on. So that's kind of the biggest difference to me. If you like, if you like the Nubri, if you like the Live um, leggings or the Energy Fabric, if you will, you will like the Dreamy leggings. Um, the difference there again you've got no front seam and then there's a little bit of a difference with the the seam on the inseam where the crotch is it kind of stays open it stays open and then that seam goes all the way down to about your knee length so just a little bit of a different seaming detail there if you will um, i did wear these in a size small 
And being that they're like a little bit more compressed feeling, I would not size down on these. I do not think I would fit in an extra small. I think they'd be too uncomfortable and not flattering for me, which normally I can go extra small or a small, but these I just felt like they ran maybe just like a tinge tighter. So size small for me is perfect. So I will stand by that I still think they're true to size, but if you are in between sizes, I would go up, not down on these guys. Oh, and I got them in the color charcoal, which I love because I don't really have anything in dark gray. Like for leggings, I don't really own many dark gray leggings. So I like having just kind of like this very basic pair of dark gray leggings, it's beautiful. But you will also have options of uh, navy, navy blue, spicy, which is a red, and then onyx, black. So you've got kind of your basics covered in the dreamy leggings. Moving on to the Resource Sports Bra. So this is not a Newbury fabric either, but upon first feel, it feels like that. So it's very similar if you have felt that before, but it's still that same polyester spandex blend. So I got this in a size extra small and a size small, and I'm so glad they sent both for you guys to be able to see in detail. Um, the front of it is just like kind of a very basic looking sports bra, and then you get to the back and it's like, whoa, there's not a lot going on back there. It's a very um, thin kind of straps and very, very open. So it's a very different feel because you really don't have much material back there, much support kind of holding anything in. So I feel like the sizing on this sports bra is really important. And I also think this might be a con of the sports bra where it just may not work for everyone necessarily depending on your back. Number one, how you feel about your back. Number two, finding the right fit on this guy might be a little bit trickier. The extra small for me, hands down, is what worked for me. Size small did not work at all. And normally I can go in between sizes, but the size small was just too big for me. It was actually too big in the front in the lower part of the sports bra. And then on the back side with the like lower strap piece here, that just kind of, I kept feeling it kind of like stick out a bit. It wasn't like held down. It like kept kind of poking up like it was just too big on me. And so for me working out, that would bother me. I don't want to be thinking about my outfit when I'm working out because that distracts me. It takes me away from my focus on my workout. So size small absolutely was too big for me. Um, extra small fit nicely though. I will say honestly, it's probably not my favorite sports bra just because I'm not used to the feel on the back which is funny because there's not a lot going on back there, but it's just kind of a different feel. And I am someone that does kind of prefer feeling kind of like hugged in. Although if you're someone that lives in really hot, humid temperatures, this probably would be an excellent sports bra for you guys to work out in. But I would hands down say, size down on this guy. Size down on this, or maybe if you're too concerned with the fit of it, maybe this is a skip. Maybe this is a pass for you. Moving on to another brand new sports bra launching. This is the Alpha Sports Bra, and I got this in that Excel color again because I love it. And this is a really pretty sports bra. This is made with the Newbury fabric, so very soft, comfortable, breathable. And this one's like a deep v-neck, almost more that combination crop top sports bra, if you will, a little bit longer in the front. Now I did have the, this does come with the removable boob pads in it, but something about the boob pads being in there, I felt like it was making my boobs look funny. So I pulled them out and I thought it looked a lot better with those pulled out of there. Um, I did get a size small in this and I honestly think I personally need an extra small in it. I don't feel like the small was as flattering on me. Maybe this is just a bra that's meant for a bigger chest size to kind of fill it out because if you look at the actual like cup size there, it's like it's meant to fill out like a pretty big boob I feel like. it's. You know, for this size, it's like the size of my head and I just don't have a boob that's the size of my head. Um, so I just kind of felt like it was okay on me, but the look wasn't as flattering as I had hoped it would be, you know, seeing some of the other girls wearing it who have larger chests. So this may be more of a chestier moment kind of sports bra, 
but it is really beautiful though. Maybe I would have had better luck if I had the extra small. The detailing in the back is beautiful. I, I love a sports bra detailing like this where it's got the crisscross up top and then it's got the cute little crisscross, like your band on the bottom crisscrosses too. That's so cute, I love that. Especially for like a nice strong back day too, you know, seeing all your back gains. Love it, it's a very beautiful sports bra. Fabric is awesome, super comfortable. Um, just for me being smaller chested, I didn't feel like it was as flattering as something like the Revolution or the Maraschino. Just personal preference for me though but these will be available in the color glow up, that yellow color and the color onyx. Are you guys seeing a theme here? <laughs> I can't help it, I just really, really like this color a lot. So next up, I'm super excited to review for you the Power Hoodie. I love that they do hoodies every launch because I'm such a hoodie wearer all year round. Um, so this is the color Excel, obviously, and the power hoodie may look slightly familiar to you. So very, very cool because um, if you guys remember the Beyond hoodie, okay, you guys loved it, this hoodie because it has that like crisscross kind of action up top that just kind of makes you feel like you're getting hugged by your sweatshirt. Beautiful. Some of you guys didn't like that it said Buff Bunny across the chest. You didn't want all that branding there, okay? Which is fine, understand. Sometimes I don't want branding across my sweatshirt either. So it looks like what they've done with the power hoodie, it's like that same exact style up top, that really nice crisscross in the hood. So it kind of comes up nice and snug up your neck, but they did it without the branding. So you have no branding on there. Literally the only thing you've got is, which you'll always find on almost all the pieces are the tiny little Buff Bunny emblem the little metal piece down there. But otherwise, you are brand free. And what I love about this hoodie is, if you guys got the Hero hoodies, remember these? I think some of these are still available. Um, these, these were like the first hoodie that she did like this, where it's a combination of cotton and spandex. Yeah, 95% cotton and 5% spandex. Rocks my world, that combination. Can I, do we say that still? Rocks my world. Um, it's so buttery and bouncy is like the best way to describe it. It just feels bouncy, like there's bounce to it. It's super thick, amazing quality. I just showed you guys the Hero hoodie. That still looks like it's in mint condition with the exception of like a few hairs from Bruce Wayne, which I'm a dog mom, you guys. Like I'm always covered in dog hair. It's kind of my story of my life. But this hoodie is just such high quality. The hood on it is beautiful. It's huge, I love it. It's super thick and I love the length on this hoodie. So this comes down where, you know, you can pull it down where it covers your butt, covers your, your crotch area, which I like. I kind of like a little bit of a longer hoodie. Um, so this is just perfect literally all year round in my book, but coming into the fall months, you're gonna wanna grab yourselves one of these hoodies. I am wearing it in a size small, and for me that's perfect. I prefer a hoodie to not be like skin tight. That's just really not my journey. I like something with a little bit of room to it in the event I wanna wear a t-shirt under it or a long sleeve. I wanna layer it because I'm freezing. Then you have a little room to move around with. So I say these are absolutely true to size. If you want it to be way more relaxed fit, then go ahead and size up. But for me, true to size, size small was absolutely perfect. This is gonna be available in the color Glow Up, so I may have to buy that for myself because a girl can't have enough hoodies in my book, which is that yellow color and then also available in Onyx. So if you're just looking for a basic black sweatshirt, this is gonna be your go-to. And I'm telling you, the quality on the hoodies, they will last you. They don't pill up, they don't get weird looking. Um, I'm a dirty person, I can always shout out my self-tanner stuff, dirt, whatever I get into that day, makeup. Um, yeah, and I have no issues, so. Absolutely love this sweatshirt, you guys. Super pumped about these because I feel like 
you guys see that there's always a lot of like crop tops launching and I think there's a large audience, especially within the Buff Bunny collection peeps, if you will, that don't always want a crop top moment. So I appreciate that she keeps coming out with some longer tank tops. And so this tank top is called the Empire Tank Top. Um, I've got that in the color Onyx. This is a really basic tank top. It's really nice. It's just a v-neck in the front and the material is a, it's that softer blend. It's a combination of cotton and then model or model, model, modal. It's modal I think and spandex. So it gives it a really soft yet bouncy stretchable feel. And then on the back side, it's really cute. It's got some really cute detailing. You've got some mesh detailing there with a little crisscross. And then the, the mesh goes all the way down both of those panels in the back. So it gives it that really nice breathable feel. I wore this a couple times this week training. And then I also wore it today for a five mile run outdoors in the heat. And it was perfect for running outdoors. This is kind of that nice tank top. I love the length of it because it goes down right to the crotch area and it's flowy, but it's still kind of fitted. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not skin tight and it's also not so flowy that when you're running, it's like flapping all over the place. That kind of drives me nuts too. So it's that like perfect in between where it's not skin tight. It's more of like a fitted, but there's still a little flow there if that makes sense. So if you're someone that likes tank tops like that, I absolutely love tank tops like that. I find myself less and less when I'm going for a run or training wanting to wear something skin tight. I don't know if it's just quarantine feels or what, but I've been kind of wanting to wear some like looser tops when I train, especially when my bottoms are skin tight. Sometimes I like pairing it that way. Like if I'm wearing skin tight leggings, I like a little bit of like a looser flowy top. So this is just kind of that perfect go-to top. And the last launch, I grabbed some of their like looser flowy tank tops and they sold out super quick. So I think you guys are also with me on this that you're super into them. So you may want to grab some of these. This is the Empire top and they'll also be available in the color CEO, which I believe is like a navy color and then white. And I'm wearing this in a size small, true to size. I feel like if I went to an extra small, it wouldn't be as flattering on me. That's where it would be really fitted looking. And I just don't think I would like that for this style of tank top. So size small is perfect for me. I would say true to size, or if you want an even more relaxed fit, then size up on this top. There's also another tank top I did not receive that's similar in nature. From what I can see from the pictures that I received, it's called the Timeless Top, and that's gonna be available in white and onyx. And it looks to be like the same kind of style, like a basic little scoop neck tank top, a little bit longer. So you will have another option there for a longer tank that's not a crop top. We have a return item next. This is kind of, almost like a classic now because it's launched several times, but this is the Naughty Top. And I've got this in the color, I think it's called Sky Rise. It's like this, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a greenish, greenish whitish type blend on the fabric, really, really pretty color. I like that, I don't have anything in that. And the Naughty Top did change. This has changed a couple times. I kind of feel like the Naughty Top changes every time they launch it, I'll be honest. So I just wanna compare it to the last time the Naughty Top launched. So I grabbed this out of my closet. This is the older version of the Naughty Top. It looks like lengthwise, it's still the same length. Um, although previously I wore a small and today you guys are seeing me wear this in an extra small. They kind of look like they're the same size. Maybe, uh, maybe the small is a little bit longer. It's a tinge longer, if you will. So I'm kind of between an extra small and a small on this top. The extra small fit me perfect though. The material on this did change this time. So the last launch of the Naughty Top, it was a nylon spandex blend and it kind of really has that like soft Newbery feeling to it, if you will. This blend isn't that same kind of like buttery softness. It's a combination of nylon, polyester, and spandex. So what I will say about the newer blend of this, while it doesn't feel as soft like a Newbery, it feels more like it'll wick away sweat, which for someone like myself, when I wear short sleeves like this, oh my gosh, it doesn't matter if it's 
30 degrees out or 70, I sweat and I get that nasty armpit sweat that then starts dripping down the side. So this fabric does feel like it's got a bit more breathability to it. The length of it's really nice. It's, it is a crop, you guys. It's gonna show your belly button. So you guys are seeing me wear this with a pair of jean shorts. I just think these tops look really cute. Throw on with a pair of shorts, with a pair of high-waisted jeans if you don't wanna show as much stomach, a little pair of sneakers or sandals, and it's kind of like just a perfect little summer outfit or if you're running to the grocery store, wherever you may be going, it's a great little basic top. So this color is sky rise in an extra small and then you'll also have options for something called asphalt which is a grayish color and then tower which is a pinky color and they all kind of have that little bit of like a white wash within the color too all right moving into the next item we have the heart on your sleeve top I was so surprised by this top because when i got the item description there wasn't a photo so i had no idea what it was going to look like and then this top came out and it's just like kind of this like very silky, very, very silky material actually. It's a combination of nylon and spandex, but it's white and it's see-through. So for me in the video, you're seeing me wear it with a sports bra underneath, but you could easily pair it with like a bralette underneath or even just a bra in a blazer over it or something, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this top because it's so different. Um, I do really like the calligraphy writing on it. This shirt is the Your Heart On Your Sleeve top and um, what it says, I'll read it for you, I had to write it down, is my love, don't apologize for being how you are. The most beautiful people wear their heart on their sleeve and you are not afraid of showing it, me. So. I really love that. I love the kind of calligraphy writing on it. I love that it's French. The material, like literally bury me in this material. Actually, wait, I kind of want to be cremated. That's a little morbid. Okay, anyways, moving on. The material is so like silky, soft, smooth, just feels so good. And I actually really adored the way this looked on me. Um, I feel like this is a bit more of a dressier top. Like I think it looked great with the dress pants that you're seeing me wear it with. I don't know that it would look as great with jeans, but uh, yeah, I think it's more for like a dressier moment. So whether it's your style or not, I don't know. And it's got like the little mock, mock neck, if you will. And I really quite like that. I think it's really cute and it's comfortable where it didn't feel like like it was choking me it just felt it just felt comfortable it, like i didn't notice that it was there that's comfort to me and why do i always have random hairs on my lips what am i doing oh yeah kissing my dog so this top i wore in a size small i think it fit pretty good i could maybe size down to an extra small if i wanted it to be really skin tight but i like the fit of it the length of the arms was not too long and i like that little detailing that it does actually have the heart on the sleeve it's so cute i love that so yeah this was just kind of like a fun little surprise in the whole life. Lunch. I wasn't expecting anything like this. This is definitely something um, I could wear to work if I threw like a white tank top underneath it or paired it with the blazer like I'm wearing right now. Just paired with the blazer really quick. I just kind of wanted to try it on to see how it looked and felt. Yeah, it feels so good actually. This material just feels great on your skin. I don't know, I might actually try this with like a little pair of high-waisted jeans or something. I'll play around. Let me know if you want me to style some of this stuff differently. I absolutely can um, for the live stream or on Instagram or something. But this top will also be available in black. Yeah, I would say true to size, definitely. Very cute, something different. Definitely, I feel like not for everyone. Like this isn't gonna be something everyone's like reaching for, but I actually quite like it and I appreciate like the change of style. All right, next we are moving into the long awaited, like I'm gonna call it a boss set, but these are totally sold separately. We have the boss blazer. I've been wearing it through the entire review. And then we also have the pants, which I don't quote me. I think they are the VP pant if you will. So Buff Bunny was kind enough to send me extra small and size small in both the blazer and the pants so that you guys can see the sizing difference between the two. Um, 
gonna go right into the pants first because you're seeing me in the video wearing the pants with the heart on my sleeve top. And the extra small pant, number one, hands down, fits me better. The size small, I can definitely wear them, but there's a little too much room in them. So extra small was perfect for me. A lot of things to talk about with these pants. Number one, this for me was just the ultimate because I wear dress pants and a blazer to work almost every single day working in a business office. I am a business officer. Business officer three, if you want to be technical, but this is like my outfit. I feel like this should have been called the Karakori blazer and the pants. That's my, my uh, feedback for next time. But funny collection team, name something after me. Dang it. No, I'm just kidding. I kid. But honestly, it was like they had me in mind when they made the blazer and the pants. I just want to just kiss them all for doing this because I will be wearing this to work every single day. It was so perfect. I had a meeting. I had a report. It's called executive committee meeting where all the directors are there. And, you know, I had to wear my mask and the whole ensemble and do a big report. And this was just such a perfect outfit for it. So anyways, I digress. The pants are incredible. I really wasn't sure how they were going to make dress pants that I would like because I'm so picky about dress pants, but these are perfect. Now they don't have any kind of zipper or button in the front, which maybe it could be concerning for many, but it has a zipper on the side and I actually quite prefer that. So it's just a little side zipper there, nothing in the front, but you do have pockets, which are super important for me. I like having pockets in my pants. I actually do put my hands in my pockets quite a bit when I'm at work. Um, the detailing of these pants, so the material is incredible. It's a combination of nylon and spandex. So. I don't know if it shows on camera, but it's a very kind of silky, like a silky glidey kind of moment. So it feels very silky and glidey on the skin. And so the pant itself is kind of like a fitted pant, if you will, like not skin tight, but what it does is it kind of tapers down into a straight leg pant. Straight leg tapered, I don't know, a little bit of a taper on the bottom boot cut, is that the term, if you will? Beautiful, loved it. Looks great with heels. You guys may see me pairing it with a big chunky heel, but I also wore this to work with just some Michael Kors flats. Again, looked perfect together. So you can dress it up with a big heel or you can wear a flat and that's good to go as well. You have kind of like, it reminds me almost like a tuxedo pant, the way the seam goes down the side. It's kind of like a double thick border of a seam. It's not too in your face, but it's just like a, kind of cute detailing on the side. And then on the booty cheeks, you've got kind of a nice little seam up top that kind of contours the top of the booty. And you do have some pockets above the butt cheeks, but those are fake pockets. You actually don't open those up, but it's just more for the detailing itself. A other cool option too, with the pant, it does come with, it's an option, you don't have to wear it but it's got a belt option too. So you do have belt loops here. So you could use the belt that comes with it, which gives you the option to do a nice little kind of cute tie moment, which is pretty versatile because then you can tie it in a couple different ways. You don't have to wear the belt at all. I would wear it depending on what type of top, like if I'm tucking something in without the blazer, yes. But if I've got the blazer on, I'm probably not gonna wanna do the belt underneath. Um, or you could add another belt in there too. So I like that it has the belt loops there. That makes me very happy. So that's another added feature, but honestly, I kid you not, I don't have to say this because I'm an athlete. I'm allowed to say whatever I want in these reviews. Hands down, so friggin' impressed with the pants. I'm so impressed with them. They just, they were perfect. They were my perfect work pant. So for me, the extra small fit great. You're gonna see me wearing them in a size small. I may definitely still get away with wearing a size small, but what you'll notice is in that stomach part, there's a lot of extra room there that kind of doesn't need to be there. It's a little bit more baggy in the legs, 
So maybe your preference, if you want a little bit of a baggier look, size up in them. But for me, I would say if you're someone who's in between sizes, for me, I'm typically, I typically lean more towards a size small in all Buff Bunny leggings for the most part. But these, hands down, extra small. I will say they are a high-waisted pant though, so they do kind of come up higher to the belly button. And when I wore the size small, I felt like there wasn't necessarily a ton of room with where it hit in my waist. Um, it was more so the bagginess of like the stomach and the legs. So I think it's really gonna depend on your body type. For me, I do have a fairly um, small waist, so that's why I could do either. Um, but yeah, I was so impressed with those so so impressed and I feel like maybe you're not someone that like works in a business office like myself but who doesn't need to have kind of your classic black pant blazer outfit on standby for any kind of meeting um anything really I mean there's lots of different ways you can dress up or dress down either a blazer or pants so I think these are staples that every woman needs in them now let's talk about the blazer, you guys. I know some people said they thought it looked like it was navy blue when I shared it on Instagram. Both the pants and the blazer are black, but I think because of the material, like being more like shiny and silky feeling, depending on the lighting, it can maybe give a little bit of a navy blue appearance, but it's definitely onyx or black. The blazer is also perfect. I repeat, the blazer is also perfect. I'm so, so happy. Again, the extra small was my go-to. It really fit me perfectly. You do have the option of double XL on the blazer. I say this because as someone who's a very petite frame, this is where I find it my struggle, finding things that fit me that I'm not swimming in it. Something like a blazer, I wanna feel feminine, I wanna feel bossy, I wanna feel professional. I don't wanna look like a child swimming in it. And I'm not someone that's gonna put the extra effort into getting something tailored either. So blazers are always a tough thing for me. I usually need to shop in petites and things like that um, to get a blazer that fits well. And so this blazer, I was super impressed with the fit of it with the extra small. You do have the double button in the front. So you've got the two buttons there. You can button them, leave them open, you name it. And then there's also a little clasp here that you can close it down on the bottom too, depending on what look you're going for and how you wanna wear it. If you want it closed all the way down where it's not gonna open up, I like that that option is there as well. There's pockets there. I hate it when blazers have fake pockets, you know, that you can't actually put your hands in because I like putting my hands in there. I like putting pieces of gum in my pockets and things like that. I like having pockets, you guys. So I love that it's actually real pockets. The other thing I want to say about this too when I wore it at work is again, I'm a sweaty person, especially when I'm at work and I'm going in and out of buildings because we're set up like a campus. So I go outside and it's scorching hot. I go inside, the AC is blasting, then the sweat occurs. And so in a lot of my blazers, they get stinky. I'm going to be honest, the armpits get stinky the way the material is if it's a cotton blend. So I actually prefer that this is not a cotton blend. It makes it very breathable, very cooling, no kind of weird sweat going on. Actually, I wore this to work and I didn't even wash it after and it does not smell like at all. That's, I'm being honest, it's a little unheard of for me. So this was just very breathable. And yeah, the extra small fits me perfect for my measurements with my torso. The size small, when you see me wearing the size small, it, this is kind of what I'm talking about. It just doesn't look as flattering on me because I'm swimming in it a little bit. A bit. Um, the arms are longer. It's just not as fitted. So I prefer a fitted look with a blazer. I just think it makes you look a bit more polished and put together. So for this, I would say size down if you're like myself. Another thing with a blazer is the arm check. You know, you need to be able to lift your arms up without it being super tight here. You don't wanna like <laughs> go like this and feel like you can hear all the seams ripping because it's too tight. There's none of that. This material is so movable. I feel like I could go play a game of volleyball or bowl or something, okay? Weird examples. 
but you get what I'm saying. It's just very movable, breathable. It can do whatever you want. And the thing about the blazer is you can fashion it so many different ways. So again, maybe you're not working in an office. I love pairing a blazer with like a concert tee or some kind of graphic tee, ripped up pair of jeans. You can dress it down with sneakers or a heel and your fashion looks spot on. I just posted a picture like this on Instagram. You guys went wild over it for whatever reason. And I literally threw that outfit together in two seconds. Something like a basic black blazer is a must. It's a must have. It'll be a classic forever. So this isn't a piece that's gonna go out of style or go out of trend. A black blazer is always trendy. So, you know, if you're like myself as a kind of more of a petite person, um, struggling to find a blazer, this may be your time to find the right fit. I love where it hits me at the waistline too as well. I like that it's not a super long blazer. There's a time and a place for that too, but I really like where this hit me on my hip. So I'm just beyond elated with how the blazer, the suit pants came out. They are phenomenal. Um, if you're someone that works in an office setting or just is looking for having some of those classic pieces, those are a definite must for me. Definitely try to snag a pair of those if you can. I do want to mention for washing your blazer and pants, that's a common question I got with the dress pants and the blazer. You can wash these, you guys, machine wash cold. I usually wash it with light colors, so I would probably wash the blazer with the pants or any of my other black items. Wash it on cold and then air dry that stuff. I would, I would hang it up or lay it flat that's gonna be your best bet to kind of keep them looking in good condition. So we've gotten through all the clothing item pieces for the most part that I received. Now some other little surprise items that I'm not necessarily gonna try on for you, but you'll get a little snippet there from the video. But Funny Collection did some lingerie this time, you guys. So couple items here launching for the lingerie. First one up is the agency bra. I have this in black. And this is a size small. I've got it inside out as I'm showing it to you. Um, very, very sexy, very, very sexy, you guys. Um, see through their lacy little detailing. And then that comes, um, actually it doesn't come with, it's sold separate, you guys, I'm gonna be honest, sold separate, but the agency thong. So again, you have a little lacy moment there. You've got these kind of sexy little straps that come come up in the front and yeah, a little lacy thong moment. So I got both of these in a size small. I feel like the size small, especially in the thong fits me good. I could probably do an extra small on the bra to be honest, but you'll get a little sneak peek of me wearing that under the blazer, but I wasn't gonna do the full try on haul deal for you, but I will say my husband was not upset about how this looked on me. Um, so very cute little moment. Um, and then the other set is the Illusion set. I have the Illusion Bralette in white, size small. I did try this on, I felt like it was too big for me. I'll be honest, I needed this in an extra small for it to fit. Um, it is see-through underneath, so that's kind of my only complaint. I do like to be able to wear a bralette where I just kind of wish there was material under there so that there was some coverage because a lot of times if I'm wearing a bralette under something, I don't know, I like having some coverage there, just my own personal preference. But um, so if they continue to do those, that would be feedback I would give. And then the, the thong is really pretty too. This kind of, someone said on my Instagram, it looks like bridal wear. So it's something really pretty you could pick up for maybe your wedding night or just a little something extra to treat young mans. You know what I'm saying? So there's the thong, size small. And for both of these, I would say the downside to both of them is it does say on the tags, hand wash only. I'm just not a hand wash only kind of girl. The odds of me hand washing stuff, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just not. So I just wanna let you guys know that because I know sometimes for me when I'm purchasing stuff, it will deter me from buying something if I have to hand wash it. So both those pieces are just really delicate with the lace on there. So it makes sense that you're gonna have to hand wash those, but you do have options there with the white and the black. So I think that's really fun. It's kind of like, you know, if your husband's or your man ever give you, your man's, if your men's ever give you a hard time about shopping but funny, you show them this is what came in the mail. I don't think they're gonna care how many packages show up on the door. You're gonna be good to go. You fling that on their face, you do a little song dance, 
and they don't shut their mouths and they're going to be happy and they'll probably encourage you to keep shopping from Buck Bunny Collection. Back again, new and improved, we have another version. This is the third version of the Game Changer Tote and this is the Lux edition of the tote. I was really excited to see this because the last time I went down to Houston, was it in December? Kayla was carrying it around because they were working on the new bag. And so Kayla was trying to like use it up and beat it up. And, you know, they really use things to make sure that they are improved and that they're more like heavy duty. So initially when I took this bag out, it just felt different. Like it felt sturdier. So I want to compare from the second version of the bag just to give you guys a difference. So if you guys have never purchased a game changer tote, this may be a perfect time to if you're kind of looking for that classic sleek luxe look. Um, but just to compare to the last bag, the main difference right off the bat is the look of the leather. So it is still a vegan leather, which I really appreciate. And I know that's important to a lot of people. But the second version of the bag and the first, it's kind of more of this like softer, more textured looking leather where when you set it down, it kind of like softens. See it kind of like crumpling up a little bit. And the Lux bag, it's just a very like, I am here, I am bossy, I am standing still, I am standing up. Um, so it's just a little bit more sturdy. And the handles themselves, the straps I should say, they feel a little more heavy duty, like they're going to endure a bit more, whereas these could maybe get broken down a bit easier. These just feel a lot more heavy duty. Moving into the actual like metal, the hardware, if you will, the hardware attachment on the straps themselves. Um, the new version seems to have like a thicker, sturdier type metal there. So it just seems, um, it, it seems like it's not gonna wear down as easily, even though I've never had issues with my other bags. They've just really gotten the extra mile there to make it that much more heavy duty. You still have it in the front here, your cell phone pocket. The actual like mechanics of the bag are still similar. On the back, you have your meal prep section down here which fits a few different size Tupperwares depending on what size you use. Um, I know a lot of people use this as a diaper bag too for moms out there. On the inside, you have the same situation again in terms of the pocket space, the pockets that you have in there, the zipper attachments. But the big difference there is previously you had the emblem, the little buff bunny emblem in there. And in this one, it's all just black. So. You know, they kind of, it's it's a minor change, but sometimes that makes a difference to people because I know, again, some people just want real minimal branding with a bag. So this kind of does just give more of that luxe appearance, very minimal, simplistic, classy. The big change here, which I think may attract you more to this bag or may want you to, up, you may want to upgrade even if you have the older bag, is the increase in size to the laptop section. So both of these bags do have the laptop section in there, but they've now made it bigger where this can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. And I'll also say the other thing, it feels like the actual cushion there for the laptop, it, like it's, I don't know if it's a sturdier cushion or if it's just enclosed more, but it just kind of feels like your laptop's going to be just a little bit safer there, but it's got the little metal enclosure that kind of hooks it down in place too. So a couple minor details there, nothing huge, but just like the zipper pieces, the zipper attachments here, one's rounded now versus squared. Not a huge change. Um, the other detailing change too is now on your zippers themselves, the little zipper up top here. This does have the, the Buff Bunny emblem right on the zipper, whereas the older bag does not. So some very minor changes here, but I do really enjoy the upgrades. This is very, very sleek. This is something that just looks very sexy. Um, the older bag I love too, but you can definitely tell the upgrades were worthwhile. And this is just more, it does feel more luxe, more heavy duty. 
The last item we're gonna review is the Game Changer Wallet. So I was so pumped to hear about this because number one, I need a new wallet. Number two, I love it that it's gonna match my new Game Changer bag. But what's even cooler about this that I didn't even realize is this is not only just a wallet. You guys can style this in so many different ways. So I've got the gold chain on here right now just to kind of show you one way you can style it, but you can make it into a clutch. You can take the chain off altogether if you want, or you can use the chain to kind of make different lengths. I kind of have it on like a shorter length right here. You could hold it like this, like a little purse. Or like I said, you can change the length by just kind of adjusting these straps here. You could even make it into just like a little, a little wristlet if you want. But you've got some options there, or if this comes off 100%, you can take this right off of here. This gold chain is really good quality. It doesn't feel like it's going to get all like scratched up or like cheap looking or anything like that. But you can take that right off of there. The pocketbook itself is that same kind of luxe leather black with the gold embellishments. You've got the zipper on the outside here that you can put different stuff in. And then on the inside, um, let's see if I can even fit my phone in here too. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I love that for me because I actually normally carry around a little scuzzy wallet. Let me show you. I've been using this like little coach wallet forever. So when I go to the mall or go to Target or something like that, I don't want to normally carry in my giant purse. So I'll just grab my wallet out of there and call it a day. But something like this is so much better because it holds so much more. It's cuter too, um, but I like that it also fits my phone in there because half the time what I do is I hold my wallet, I hold my phone, and then the odds of me setting my phone down somewhere and forgetting it or my wallet are highly likely because that's just who I am as a person. Whereas this, I can shove my phone right in there, I've got my license in there, and then you have spots right here to fit up to six different cards. But honestly, you also have a pocket in there too. You could put more cards in there if you needed to. You have a little spot in here to put a little pen if you like. You've got little um, hooks here for like a little key holder. You can attach your keys to it. And then the other cool thing too is you've got another card holder here so you can put more cards in there. This clips and comes right out of it. So if you want to be even more simple and just carry your, your cards here, it's got a zipper function on it. You can throw things in there. I mean, you've got all kinds of compartments with this wallet. So uh, yeah, and then this just snaps right back in there. So I had no idea when they came out with this wallet that it, there were gonna be that many options with it. Um, so yeah, you can use it as a wallet. You can use it as a purse. I feel like I wouldn't use this as my everyday purse. Like this wouldn't replace a game changer bag or my normal little hand purse, but this is that great little intermediate that you may need for when you're running into the mall or doing some errands and you don't want to carry around a heavy purse. Because if you're like me, I go Mary Poppins real quick and that shit gets heavy. Um, so this is that great intermediate or it's perfect for date night or going out to dinner, you're going out with your girlfriends, making it into a cute little purse or a clutch. Um, you also can adjust this where it's just like a side purse too. Let me show you. So you just hook it like that and then you've got like your, your little purse like that. Throw it over the side and you're good to go. So you have so many options with this. For just being a wallet, mind blown. So many options here. So I really think this is a great grab, you guys. If I was you, I would try to get my hands on this. You will have some color options too. I forgot to mention with the Game Changer tote, you've got some color options. The wallet, you've got Onyx. Then there's Voyager and LeBlanc, which is a white color. I believe the white color wallet and bag have silver embellishments on them. So if you're looking for, if you're not into a gold moment, I think the white one will be your jam. In terms of cleanability of both the bag and the wallet with that vegan leather, Honestly, you know, it doesn't really take much to clean. I get my makeup fingers on it all the time. I take a light, um, just like a washcloth with either some warm water if I need a little hand soap. Nothing crazy, just basic hand soap, warm washcloth, gently wipe it off. That honestly will clean mostly anything off the bag or the wallet. 
super excited about the wallet. I'm in the wallet purse crossbody. It does so many things. Honestly, this I would snag this in a heartbeat if you guys need something like this. It's just another classic piece you'll get so much use out of. It won't go out of style. There's no heavy branding on it. You've got the little B embellishment on the side, but for the most part, it's just very classy and will go with so many different looks, so many different outfits, so many different events. Well, I know that was a super long review, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, for those of you shopping, it means the world to me. I cannot thank you enough the support you guys give me with these launches. And before I go, you guys always ask me what are my top picks. This is always super hard, especially with so many items launching. I have to say with it being the boss launch, I can't stress it enough. I do feel like you need a little blazer action. You guys can dress this up, down, so many different ways. The blazer and the pants, hands down, or at least one of those two. Um, I think are a must have, but in terms of the workout piece, I think this was my favorite. This was the supply and demand, the supply top and the demand leggings. I just, I loved the ribbed texture, yet it's still soft and buttery. I love the comfort of it and that you can just, again, wear it for lifestyle or for training. But I also really love the confidential set too. And then you know my feelings on the power hoodie get yourself a power hoodie. You will not regret it. You will regret not getting one. I don't want you crying at me if you miss out. So I do think you guys, I know you can't afford everything, totally relate, but those would be my top picks out of everything that's launching. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I'm so excited to see what you all get. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things before you head on out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.